Now, from across the Tri-State, this is KHQA Sports. Even with an abundance of injuries, Tyler Janes enjoyed a bit of a star-crossed high school wrestling career. But he certainly stuck the landing, punctuating with a state championship this winter and a college scholarship today to wrestle at Maryvale. Knowing all of the struggles we went through, uh, wrestling and injuries and everything and the cut and weight and all the practices and everything it really does make this a really sweet ending. The state championship and the chance to continue wrestling where do those rank? Very very high and uh, Maryville was one of my top choices I really really like the school I like the coach I like the team and it's really nice knowing that I, I'm, I've got the privilege of attending the university I wanted. He had the first two years, two big injuries that uh, really limited what he can do. And, you know, bounced back as a junior, taking second, and one state this year. Just speaks volumes for the type of kid he is. Two-time Southeast Conference Wrestler of the Year, Bryce Meyer of Fort Madison, will continue his grappling career in the Hawkeye State. Meyer joins one of Division I Wrestling's fastest rising programs in Northern Iowa, which finished 15th in the country this winter. Meyer posted three top six state finishes in his career, including a second place run this winter at 126 pounds. On the basketball front last night, Payson All-State swingman Cody Hildebrand announced his commitment via Twitter to Illinois College. Hildebrand averaged 22 points per game this season and gives Mike Rowell the splashiest local recruit he's been fighting to land the last few years. Delayed signing news from Macomb. Yesterday, Bomber 2 sports standout Reed Sprinkle opted for baseball in college and a chance to continue his career at Clark College in Iowa. The coaches were great, talked me through everything, made sure I liked everything all right. And the players that I stayed with when I went up there on my visit were really nice and walked me through everything they did. If you don't like the coaches, you're not going to love it there. You're not going like, to want to play for them. You're not going to want to show up every day and be ready to play. Coach Banner prepared me really well with all the things he knows because he coached college and played college, so he knows what he's talking about. And playing the Molines and the Quincy's kind of helps you out with that too as well. What are you uh, thinking about studying major-wise? Do you have any uh, idea yet? No idea. No <laughs> idea. Know. Anything kind of interest you yet? Or Sports management and physical therapy. I'd definitely be to stay with sports and work with a college team or an NFL team maybe because I love football too. I'm going to miss all my friends because they've been with me since I was uh, – I moved here in first grade, so since I was six or seven. So it would be really, really sad to leave him, but a new start for me. I have family close by, so if I need anything, they'll be there to help me out too. More from Macomb, this time on the basketball front, as the unsung Skylar Mueller pledged to continue her playing career at Collard Sanborn. I really like the campus a lot because um, it's kind of all connected together. And when I went on my campus tour, um, there was a lot of different things that I liked, like the classrooms. I like the classroom size because there's not as many students and the teachers. You can better, like have a better relationship with the teachers there. And also, I like um, I know some of the students that go there, so that makes it easier for me too. So I just thought that Carl Sandburg would be a good fit for me. I'm taking a class there that's going to kind of help me determine what I want to do, but much for my career, and kind of just study myself and how I make decisions and why I do that. So hopefully, that'll help me determine what I want to do. Coach Keen, um, he be like we played Q and D, and they're an awesome team, and I just think that. Basically, everybody that we played, we had really good competition. I mean, we might not have had the best record, but still I think that all the competition that we played really prepared me to play next year. Now, when I was choosing a college, I tried to piss, pick one with the best cafeteria. I think I did that, too. That was, way, that was pretty high up there on the list. It's the best way to go because some of them had horrendous food. 